Hi there, Sonia from the Inspired Pen. Um, I have a store on Etsy I just recently opened. I've been making journals and scrapbooks for a long time, and now I'm getting to the point where I am ready to start selling them. So this is a walkthrough on one of my latest journals that I've made. It's a junk journal uh, made with a lot of vintage things I've found, um, flea markets, uh, thrift stores, yard sales. Uh, I have people gift me stuff that I can use in these, um, which is really nice. Um, this is one of my first vintage ones that I've done. Um, it has a pocket in the front, so you can stick pens and, you know, other things in there. The uh, spine of it is made with hook and eyes, and this is actually from a corset. And then the back is decorated with lace and burlap and tulle and it's got the lace all the way around. I make everything, the covers, um, and everything from by hand. So it is not manufactured in any way except for here at my shop. So um, this is the first signature in the book. These are removable signatures. Um, on my Etsy store, I will be selling replacement signatures for all of my uh, junk journals. Anyway, so here we have um, the first couple of pages, um, just regular paper, and then this really old um, colored construction paper. This one, this this book is um, has a lot of tuck spots in it, as you can see. I use um, old paper. I use music sheets. And like I said, a lot of this stuff is what has been found. Um, I thought these grids would make great trackers because you could just put your title in here and then track stuff on them. And then we have um, old pieces of patterns from, you know, various things. I have done, um, made some ephemera. There's some more vintage paper. And you've got your paper doilies. And then that is what it is all throughout the entire book. I have a lot of tuck spots. I do a lot of sewing. Um, I do a lot of um, collage pieces like this one with the um, old map and the jewels and then the um, stamp pieces. And I try to use absolutely everything when I'm doing these. Like this uh, came from a set of hook and eyes, um, an old set of hook and eyes, which I took the hook and eyes off of, and I still used this in the book. Um, this is pieces that came off of the outside of the book when I put it all together. And then here's another tuck. I include a lot of tuck spots in these. And then I also include the paper to put in the tuck spots. And I try to incorporate as much vintage paper like this um, piece here that is from old music books. I have a huge bin of old music that was picked up. Um, I make these cards, kind of a suggestion for journaling. This one says wish. So on the back, you, you know, put something that you wish for and then you can tuck it back in. And I just really enjoy making these journals. And then here's some more of the paper and sewing that I have in this one. And I do use all sorts of paper. I did some... A lot of all the stamping I do, the rubber stamping on the um, tuck pieces. And then this one, I added, you know, wooden pieces to corners and a lot of stamping. And that's another tuck spot. And that is a lot of what's in my books is a lot of stuff I find. Here's another, here's a, a card that I found, but I thought, boy, this would be great for just writing on and using. And there's this really nice um, poem on the back of it that could be used for inspiration. And that is what I do 
I do um, all different kinds and of stuff. I do cards. I do um, gift tags, and but mostly I do junk journals. This is what I really enjoy doing, and found some really great old stickers and made uh, tuck pieces with those with the pockets. And then there's another tuck spot. I try to prompt, give prompts in my books because sometimes you just don't know what to write about. But anyway, you can fill this up with whatever you want, pictures, writing, art, and it is, it will become yours. So thank you for watching.